But first this afternoon, a jury found Stephen Casals not guilty of intentionally killing his nine-year-old stepson, Omari Varela. But they did find him guilty on a string of other charges related to the boy's death, and that will send him to prison for a long time. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at District Court. Madeline? Well, Dean, it took jurors about five more hours today to decide Casals' fate. We find the defendant not guilty of count one. But after the most serious charge came, the guilty verdicts for the lesser charges, reckless child abuse resulting in death, bribery of a witness, and tampering with evidence. All for not doing anything to stop the abuse that killed Omari back in December 2013, and for trying to cover it up and pressure Omari's siblings not to say anything. Prosecutors say Casaus and his wife Cynthia beat Omari to death and then waited at least an hour before she called 911. Casaus, however, insists it was his wife alone who punched and kicked Omari. The prosecutors say they're still satisfied with the outcome. I'm happy that the, the jury came back with um, this verdict. He's going to be facing a significant amount of time. Cynthia Varela Casals has admitted to kicking Omari the day he died. Omari's younger sister, however, testified that her stepdad was in on the beating. Casals' lawyers hammered away at the credibility of such a young witness. And Casals will be sentenced on November 10th and faces 18 to 30 years. He also faces up to nine years for a DWI and heroin dealing conviction. Dean, back to you. All right, Madeline, thank you. While Cynthia Varela Casals has admitted to kicking her son, she now claims she was covering for her husband because she was scared of him. She has not gone to trial yet.